Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the EMA gain with RSI indicator um, and buy signals that I've created for TradingView. If you are using the EMA gain and RSI strategy together. So the first thing you need to do is go to TradingView and then add the indicator. And then you simply just search for profit trailer. You can see uh, the user Looney Trader, that's me. And you just look for the EMA gain and RSI buy signals indicator. And then you add it to your chart. You'll see that that'll add the indicator to your chart with uh, default settings. So if you click the little cog here to go into the settings of the indicator. If I just quickly run through them, you'll see the short EMA set here uh, to 12. The long EMA is to 24. So the short EMA is the line at the bottom and the long EMA is the thicker line at the top, the yellow line. The EMA buy value, it's a negative value. So whichever line, whichever one of these EMA lines is at the bottom. If you set it to minus one, it will do minus 1%. Of the price so let me just show you that quickly so if you take a look at this example you'll see the blue area that's where you set your buy so if I take it from the lowest EMA line to the bottom that's one percent so that's the minus that you set there so you'll see whenever the price crosses over this percentage it will create a buy signal for you now, what I've added to this indicator is the RSI as well. So if you see here, if I disable the RSI, you'll see more buy signals here because the price is crossing here. But if you enable RSI, the RSI values has to be met as well. And that gives you a little bit more accurate buy signals. So with RSI disabled, you'll see all the buy signals here. With RSI enabled, You'll see that it removes a lot of this and it actually protects you a lot from this downturn here. So the RSI length, you just set to 10, RSI um, oversold and RSI overbought. Obviously in the case of buying, you're looking at the RSI oversold level. So you can play around with these settings over here. And you'll see that it'll actually remove some of the buy signals. But you can play around with this um, and see what works best for you and for your profit trailer settings. If you go here to style, you can set the long EMA, you can change the color, you can do whatever you need to do. And with time, I will add some cell signals as well. Uh, if we want to change the plot color plot background over there just to make it a bit more visual for if you're using a white chart for example or whatever the case is okay so if we go to another coin here to Tron for example you'll see it works quite well to buy at the bottoms so again you've got your long EMA which is the top line you've got your short EMA which is the bottom line and then the value that you set is the percentage below the lowest line. This could be the fast or the slow EMA. You can see here as they cross, it just always stays at the bottom. That's it. You can use this indicator for free. There's no cost to it. I'll, I'll keep updating it. I'm busy adding the sell signals in here as well, um, adding a positive value. Some people use positive values as well. So, Feel free to use it and let me know in the comments if you find it useful. I'll add a link to the description as well where you can find all my uh, indicators on TradingView. Cheers for now.